Today I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a Jessica manicure with gelation. Always start your treatment by spraying your hands and clients' hands with Jessica Purely Clean Hand Sanitizer. Massage until absorbed. Remove polish with Jessica Polish Remover. By analysing the nails, you can determine if the gel manicure should be performed. This is similar to doing a facial skin analysis. During the nail analysis, there are four points you should observe and discuss clearly with your client. Check for the smoothness of the nail by running your thumb over each nail. If the nail is damaged, you should treat the condition before proceeding with a gel manicure. Look at the colour of the nail plate. Healthy nails should be pink in colour and flexible. However, more rigid nails are still okay for gel. Check the ends of the nails to determine if they are peeling. If so, advise your client that you can still go ahead, but the manicure may not last as long. Check for inflamed, painful, torn or infected cuticles. If you detect any of these conditions, you should treat the condition and advise the client to opt for a therapeutic manicure instead. Apply one drop of fenamin oil to each cuticle and massage well in circular movements. This will help to soften the cuticles as you prepare for cuticle work. Apply a small amount of nourish on the back of your hand. Distribute to all fingers and massage in circular movements to drench cuticles and soften even further. The last part of the massage includes the hand and arm. This can be your own style and flair, just make it memorable for the client. Add three or four pumps of hand and body bath into your manicure bowl with warm water. Place both of your client's hands into the bowl for one minute. Soaking prevents nail trauma during filing. Using an orange wood stick or the Jessica Nail Care Machine, gently push back the cuticles until the nail plate is clean. A sterilised nail clipper is used to cut across the nails to achieve the correct length and shape. It's a good idea to involve your client when it comes to the length and shape of their nails. Using a fine emery board, filing is done from the outside to the centre of the nail. Avoid using a sawing motion which can lead to peeling nails. Cleaning nails is very important as it removes oils and will ensure a longer lasting manicure. Scrub in a downwards motion two or three times per nail. Wrap the cloth tightly around your thumb, dip into the mani bowl and squeeze out the excess fluid. Use circular movements to trace around the cuticles to remove dead skin. Then rub the plate clean until it squeaks. This is the final cleanse before applying polish. Use lint-free wipes saturated with Jessica Clarify and wipe all nail plates clean. Apply one coat of Geloration Prep on all nails, making sure each nail is covered without touching the skin. Prep temporarily changes the pH of the nail surface and assists with adhesion and longevity of the polish. You will notice that the nail changes to a powdery white colour as the prep dries, which is okay. Select the 10 second curing time on your LED before you go any further. Starting with the hand on your left, apply start base coat thinly and evenly over the entire nail, whilst not touching the skin. It is also important to seal the end of every nail. You will need to smooth out the capped area by going back over the nail with two or three quick, even strokes. Place the hand in the LED for curing and repeat the process on the other hand. This time, select the 30 second curing time on your LED before you go any further. Prior to opening the gel, give it a good mix by rolling the bottle in your hands. Starting with the hand on your left, apply a thin coat of gel colour evenly over the entire nail whilst not touching the skin. It's important to seal the end of every nail whilst not forgetting to smooth out the capped area by going back over the nail with two or three quick even strokes. 
Place the first hand in the LED for curing and repeat the process on the other hand. You will note that after the first coat, the finish is sheer and uneven. Don't aim for full coverage with the first coat, otherwise the gel will wrinkle and shrink. A number of thin coats will always give a better result. Repeat the whole procedure again for the second coat. Finish protects the colour and provides an incredible shine. Starting with the hand on your left, apply a liberal coat of finish evenly over the entire nail while it's not flooding the cuticle. Once again, it's important to seal the end of every nail while it's not forgetting to smooth out the capped area by going back over the nail with two or three quick even strokes. Place the first hand in the LED for curing and repeat the process on the other hand. Once both hands have been cured, you will note a sticky residue on the nail surface which must be removed. Using a lint-free wipe, add a liberal amount of Clarify as you go to wipe each nail thoroughly over and under the nail. Finally, check that each nail is smooth, shiny and residue free. You should also advise your client about the importance of aftercare. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website jessicacosmetics.com.au for more information.